after one of these bimbo brawls, but it doesn't keep her down, it doesn't stop her. And look at there, she just times that perfectly and lets Jackman come to her and then sends her outside any way she can use it, a chance to get a hold of a weapon and start causing some severe damage. Roxy to follow up on the edge, sends Jacqueline face first right into the ring apron and then follows up with a shot. Big forearm delivered into the chest, gonna grab her by the head, look out, there she goes. Oh, right into the steel steps. Jacqueline turned just at the last moment kind of to protect her head, but you can see that she caught the lower end of her back right into those steps, and that steel ring post kept those steps from moving. Jacqueline's got to be in severe pain there, Mike. Oh, we had to anticipate that the weapons would come into play. You see that the tray and the steel chair slid into the ring by Roxy. You see Roxy picking up the trash can lid. This is a weakened pride of ten to see Jacqueline. And you gotta give Roxy credit. She went around the ring, got her weapons, but she kept that fast pace. You see, too. Not enough, though, for Jacqueline at this point. But she went around there quickly, made sure she got her weapons, made sure she got Jacqueline back in that ring, and this is her chance. She's got the advantage right now, like you said. But the longer you let Jacqueline recover, the worse it can get with her. Steel chair, position in the middle of the ring, and Jacqueline turns it around on Roxy. The quick reverse, and you see that she went elbow first right into the chair, follow cover for a near fall. Looks like she also hurt her wrist when she tried to brace herself from the fall. And you can see she's trying to get some feeling back into it, Roxy I'm talking about, but now you can see and feel this momentum turning as Jacqueline, look at that, she got the little, little pep in her step, and she's got a little confidence, and whoa, just smacked her on the head with that tray, and another oh. shot, and waits, and Roxy down to a knee, but still didn't go down to the mat, and Jacqueline again hits her in the head with the tray, when you see what she did, she straightened the tray back out, so she can have maximum force on the head again, and she's just hit her with four straight shots, and Roxy reeling, and oh, there's the concerto right there to both ears. Yeah, just rung the bell of Roxy that time, and Jacqueline circles around, drops the trays, we're gonna go for the pin here to put her away. I gotta admit, I enjoy watching Tracy count the three count there, or the two count at that point. Never really thought of the referee's shirt as a fashion statement, well, especially after watching Rudy Charles, but nobody fills out that shirt like Tracy Brooks, and you see the side slam right on the trash can lid, but only a two count. 
Well, taste up. Look at the direction that trash can lid is with the handle sticky there, which is another point that you can really hurt your hip. But Jacqueline uses that knee there. That time they catch the head. And then look at her just send her over. Overpowered her. Hit her with the T-bone suplex. And I think Roxy may have landed on top of that lid, at least partially. Steel chair going to come into play one more time. Pride of Tennessee, going to wind up, and here comes Roxy with the big boot. Wow, you got to admire what Roxy did there. She closed the gap so fast that Jacqueline didn't have time. Now she's setting up for the voodoo drop. Going to take her up. Oh, right on that spine. Here it is. One, two. Roxy gets the win. Here is your winner, Roxy. What could be going through the mind of Christian after living with the pain of going through the glass table? And then hearing that 3D promises to reintroduce it tonight to the back where Christian and Rhino are standing by with Lord.